although sometimes it's quite frustrating to plant things in your garden and then the weather causes them to go to seed going from average temperatures to excessive heat is going to cause that but as long as you've got some spare plants that you've grown you can always replace them at this time of year you still got time to use that bit of land to get some produce and just as a warning uh, this weekend the temperatures are going up to 89 on Sunday and possibly 93 on Monday so we're gonna have to be very vigil without watering this coming weekend and because we keep getting these big shifts in weather from mid 70s up to nearly 90 as I say that as a deficit to some of your plants and I've had four cauliflowers that all just split wide open but it's left me a row down the centre of one of the oak tunnels <clears throat> and I have got some bell pepper plants left so all's not lost we'll give it a little turnover and we'll get these in in place there's still time to get fruits from these so I'll go and do that now so this is that bed we've also got carrots and onions grown in here quite happily quite a few but down the center were the cauliflowers unfortunately they've all gone so as I say, no loss, we'll just get something else in. We'll just give it a bit of a turnover first, get any large pieces of wood removed and any weeds as well. And then we'll get some of these peppers in. They have been in pots for quite a while, so it's time to move them. Make sure we push these in nice and firm as well. And I'm just going to put them about a foot apart. quick and easy job this as long as you've got those backup plants you've always got something to replace any plants that don't quite make it we'll get this last one in quick because now it's decided it's going to rain like I said extreme weather At least we won't have to water these in. We'll just give them a bit of a feed with some fish blood and bone as well to get them on the way. And that should do us. And we'll get round to this potato plant at some point. We might as well see how many potatoes we've got in it because the foliage is now starting to die back. And while we're in the garden, we'll have a better look at these cauliflowers. Just to get this net off. So we've got a really nice looking cauliflower there. It's nice and compact, just the way it should be. But if we start getting temperatures in the 90s, there's a very good chance that these will go to seed. And we've got another one right there next to it. There's no way I'm going to lose these two plants. I'm going to keep my eye on them very closely over the next few days. And the first signs of any separation, and I'll harvest these. 
I'd rather take a smaller harvest than nothing at all. It's always disappointing when you come to a certain point a year and you see some of your plants fail. But that's not your fault, that's down to this weather. As I was saying, come weekend, it could go up as high as 93. So that's gonna cause problems. If you don't keep on top of it, so just make sure everything is deep watered the night before, if possible. But if you do lose some plants through year, and you grow back at once, like I do, all's not lost. You've still got time to grow something in that area where something's failed. It's too late to start thinking about growing peppers at this time of year, but there's other things that you can grow. And that's why I always back up my plants right from spring. We did a big sowing of peppers. And once they got to this size, we sowed a load more. So we've got something just in case we need it. And things like cabbages, cauliflowers, you can still keep sowing these right now. We put two seeds in each cell in this. So in the event that one didn't work, another one would. And you can see every cell has got a plant in it. So all we'll do is pinch out the weaker one and grow on the bigger one. And that little tray has got 24 Durham cabbages in it. So just by planning ahead, it shows, it makes a lot of difference when you get to a certain point at year and you're desperate for some backup plants because something unexpected happened. So we've countered that problem by replacing those blown cauliflowers with some more bell peppers who will appreciate extreme heat. But now we'll start and sow some more cauliflowers to plant later in season when it's that little bit cooler and see how they get on. But as you can see, although we've lost a few cauliflowers, there's two in the garden that are about this big and they're really compact how they should be. So I think we'll be taking an early harvest on those quite soon. But apart from everything else, today is feeding day for these plants. We're gonna mix up a few watering cans of diluted tomato food and go around every single plant in the greenhouses and out and make sure everything has got a really good boost to nutrition. Especially when you get plants like this. This bell pepper has now got five fruits growing on it. So it needs that extra boost nutrition to maintain itself as a plant and also keep those fruits growing. So that's my plan for today because then I know everything's been done. And if you want to see what we do tomorrow or the day after, then please hit that subscribe button, press that notifications bell. I'll see you at next update. You all take care.